Hi everyone and welcome to Captain Steve's How To Boating. I am in a working, active boat yard in Lantana, Florida. Well right here I have a 2005 42 foot Sea Ray Sundancer that's come in to have its bottom painted. That's what we're going to talk about here quickly is bottom paint. Right here you can see they've already started sanding the bottom to put a new coat on. The reason they've sanded it is because this is what we call a hard paint. There are two types of paint. There's an ablative paint and there's a hard paint. If you're really active with your boat, you want to use an ablative paint. What that means is a soft paint is you're going through the water. The paint comes off a little bit each time so you don't have to scrub it as hard and it's always fresh. It always has those ingredients in it that take away all of those shells and the grass and everything else. A hard paint has those ingredients embedded into the paint and so even when you're ready to take it and have it repainted, your bottom may look beautiful, but yet there's nothing in there to keep those shells and those growths from getting on your hull. Where the ablative, you can come in and just wash it down and put a new coat on top of it because you always have those ingredients in the paint to help protect your bottom. Now salt water is the most corrosive thing on the face of the earth. You need to have bottom paint on your boat if you are in salt water, no matter what size boat it is. If you're taking it out of the water every day, that's a different story. But if you're leaving it in the water, you have to have a bottom paint, and there are a ton of different bottom paints. It just depends on how much you use your boat as to which one you get. Also, ablative paints tend to be more expensive. But as you can see here, they've started by sanding down this bottom. And there's a lot of parts to doing this. So besides painting just the hull, there's other parts that you want to make sure get painted. Let's go take a look at those. Now here under the boat you have some things that also you want to look at painting. Your shaft, which is moving all the time, your strut, your rudder, also if you have underwater exhaust, you may want to paint that also. Now do you use normal bottom paint? That's up to you. Yes, we use normal bottom paint all the time. But there are also special products made just for metal items underneath your boat, for running gear. Those items are very good. Just ask the people that are doing your bottom what they are. They tend to be a little more expensive, but they're worth it in the sense that it does make it slicker. So it goes through water faster, less resistance, you burn less fuel, and you go a little faster. So it's worth it. Also, as a side note, if you have a boat with shafts that are coming out like this, check to see if you should have zincs on them. Some boats, like Sea Rays, mostly do not use zincs on their shafts. If you have zincs on a Sea Ray, most Sea Rays, then you're probably over zinking. And over zinking is just as bad as under zinking. So check to make sure that if you do want to put zincs on your shafts or not. Now on the back of most boats this size, you have trim tabs. Trim tabs are made of aluminum or metal and things will grow on them. And if things are growing on them and your diver has to clean them every month because you haven't painted it, he's going to be very upset. So you definitely want to be sure you paint the trim tabs and the trim tab actuators. But when they paint it, make sure your trim tabs are in the up position so they don't paint the post because it will not work if this is all painted. Oh. And speaking of zincs, this is a very bad zinc on the back of this boat. It needs to be replaced before this boat goes back in the water. You can see there's a lot of electricity in the water around where this boat sits because these zincs deteriorate according to the electric uh, current that's running through the water. Other things too, but mainly because of the electric current. And this has been eaten up really good. One last note here too on the running gear is if you have props, especially if you've had them cleaned and tuned, you should paint them also. Not necessarily with bottom paint. There are products out there, like I said earlier, that deal with that kind of thing, with making them slick and smooth and it cuts down your fuel consumption and it speeds your boat up a little bit. Check on those products. But either way, you want to be sure to paint those props. One additional item on bottom paint. As your boat gets older, it sits deeper in the water. You always want to make sure that your bottom paint is above the water line, about three inches or so. Just make sure that your bottom paint is always above the water line, otherwise you're doing no good with it. As your boat gets older, you're going to need to paint a little higher. Have your yard sand down a little bit higher and paint that up. It's very important that you do that. 
Now, if your boat has a bow thruster or a stern thruster, you want to be sure that the people that are painting the bottom of your boat get really good inside here. Because if things are growing in here, it makes it hard for your bow thruster to push water back and forth. So make sure they get in there with good paint and get the inside, get the props, get the little mechanism that drives that prop, and make sure that bow thruster or stern thruster is totally painted. You know what? That's it for bottom painting. I hope you learned something from this, and I want to thank you for being with me. Have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.